This is News Channel 5, St. Louis's only news in high definition. Breakthrough research at the University of Missouri-Columbia may hold the key to saving the lives of American troops from roadside bombings in Iraq. A special team of scientists could change the face of war and the way we live right from their small lab. News Channel 5's Randy Jackson reports the discoveries are already capturing the attention of the U.S. military. On a university campus, behind the secure doors of a sterile lab, they are pushing the laws of nature. Here in the University of Missouri-Columbia's Nanotechnology Engineering Lab, Dr. Schubert Gangopadia is leading her team in developing tiny devices powered by materials that atoms have actually been rearranged. So nano is small. So it's so small that you are just putting a few atoms or molecules together. Gangopadia's team is taking the front lines of research to the front lines of combat. This is a prototype of an explosives detector and detonator that troops may one day carry into combat. It send out a signal and get an acoustic image back to detect, the, to detect an IED. You could also use a similar device to actually neutralize it and set it off before we reach it. While working on it, students like Dan Tapmeyer of Wentzville think about Marine Corporal Riley E. Baker of Pacific and U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Brandon Wallace of Festus, who lost their lives this month to improvised explosive devices on Iraqi roads. It really reminds us of who we're doing this for and why we're doing this, and it really gives us a drive to keep going. The research, funded by a $10 million grant from the Department of Defense, could have other applications in this microscopic frontier. How small are the particles they're working with in this lab? Well, it's hard to believe that on this wafer are particles of gold, nanoparticles, one millionth the size of a strand of hair. This is a DNA sensor made from nanoparticles of gold. It may one day enable police to detect DNA at the scene of a crime instantly. And in the back of Dr. Gangopadia's mind, minute medical sensors that can detect cancer and even HIV. So think about a virus which can be detected at such low level. Uh, that means early detection and cure. Those are the kind of breakthroughs that improve our lives and really why you see so many 28,000 excited students here on this campus right now. Rewarding to the team is that the research is being done right here in Missouri. Giant steps taken in a very small field of science. In Columbia, Missouri, Randy Jackson, News Channel 5. University of Missouri-Columbia officials say they expect to deliver the first prototypes of the explosive neutralizers to the U.S. Army for testing within two years. The research team already shares seven U.S. patents in the new technology.